today's video, we're going to take a look at another Matt Graham design Condor blade. I'm talking about the uh, Big Leaf Machete. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So before we get started with this video, I'd like to welcome a new sponsor to the channel, the folks at Sportsman's Guide. Sportsman's Guide is like your one-stop shop for everything related to camping, survival, and general preparedness. They sell everything from firearms to ammunition to clothing to military surplus to camping gear to, to you name it. I've been shopping with Sportsman's Guide for quite a number of years. As a matter of fact, this, this thermal um, base layer I'm wearing here was a military surplus item from Sportsman's Guide quite a few years ago, and it's still holding up really well, done a great job. So if you're looking for some great prices on camping or tactical or, or military surplus or any other gear, be sure and check out the folks at Sportsman's Guide and tell them thanks for sponsoring the channel. So today's video, like I said, we're gonna take a look at another Matt Graham design blade from the folks at Condor, and that's, that's the Big Leaf Machete. And this thing is stinking huge, heavy, and it's very unusual looking, admittedly. And so, um, and it's got this distinctive Matt Graham kind of kind of design stuff on here. And I've had the pleasure of meeting Matt Graham a few times over the last few years at different shows and stuff. And he's um, he's just a really nice guy. You know, the persona, if you've seen him on TV, he's been on several shows. He comes across as a really nice guy on TV, and he comes across exactly the same way in person. He's just a super nice guy. He helped me get my second or third bow drill fire ever. Um, and, and he's um, he's the real deal. I mean, he lives in like a, um, in, in the woods right now in like a wiki up or something. So he's not just pretending for TV. He's the real deal. So he's got a lot of experience in the woods and in the wild, in a lot of different environments. And so he's, he's taken that experience and he's translated into de designing some different blades with Condor. Uh, this is uh, his take on a machete. And it's a really nice blade. I like it a lot. Now I gotta say right up front, what I've got has got the, you can see the tip, see that? The tip is broken uh, a little bit on it. It was that way when I got it. I think it got damaged in shipping. I was going to try to clean it up, but um, I didn't because I, I, I figured I would just screw it up worse <laughs> being me. So it's left it like it is, but um, it should not affect the functionality of it at all. So let me just tell you about the specs of this real quick, and then we'll take it down to the old stump top and get to doing some knife stuff because it's getting dark. So this features a 13.5 inch blade of 1095 high carbon steel. It's got Matt's a little personal kind of leaf design on it. It's called the Big Leaf is the name of it. And then it, you can see his signature right there on the bottom. Um, it's got what appears to be a pretty sharp spine kind of a, a symmetrical leaf design here down to what is probably a, a really sharp point on, on the new one. And then it's got a really well designed, comfortable micarta handle, rounded off and everything. Feels really good in your hand. It's got a little bit of a, a hump here to uh, keep it from, from sliding out of your hand when you're chopping because it's it's um, pretty stiff. It's not a super floppy one. So it's kind of like a, a, in my opinion, it feels like it's going to be a good machete, a good chopper, a good all around machete, not just a not just for wood or for grass or whatever, but it's, um, oh, and by the way, for those of you still stuck in that old metric system, the blade length is 343 millimeters, which I believe is 34.3 centimeters or 3.43 decameters. So I know it's a lot simpler. And like most of mass designs, it comes with a really cool handcrafted leather sheath with the, uh, leaf design on it and it's got this little tab the kind of primitive primitive style tab that you can just slide it behind your belt and that catches on it now i have noticed you got to really be careful when you put this thing in there um because it, it gets caught up because it's blade shape but you can see that and you can just slide that down behind your belt if you want to carry it on your belt or whatever so it's got the condor logo there i think it's pretty cool so um i don't know about you but i'm itching to see how this thing performs so we're going to do the real world test and then we're man you, you know we got the old balance orientation and rotation device back there uh, <laughs> you know, you know that I can't wait. I can't wait. So anyway, um, well, no more rambling. Let me take it down to the old uh, new stump top, and we get to doing some of that uh, big leaf machete stuff. Okay, so here is big leaf uh, machete, and I thought we'd do just do some basic um, kind of knife machete stuff with it, and then we'll um, get to the scientific portion of the testing. So. Um, this is machete, it's not an axe, but I thought we'd at least try to do a little chopping here. I've got some pretty hard stuff, I don't know what this is, but just see how well this thing chops. It should have a pretty good bit of mass here to, to do some serious 
fighting in. Just look at that. Hell yeah. About there seems to be a good sweet spot for it too. Let's just uh, chop it one more, one more time. Yeah, so we got that. So we'll do a little bit of batoning. Obviously, this is a great big blade. It would probably baton some pretty serious big stuff, but I don't really have any serious big stuff to baton right now. And over and over, I'm told I've never had to baton in 50 years in the woods and. Uh, neither have I in the southern, you know, kind of the southern eastern woodlands, but some places you might have to. And, and but I have, I have since I learned to do it, learned about the technique. I definitely think it comes in handy sometimes. But let's just. So, pretty hard, solid, stringy wood here. Go ahead and um, do it again. Try something a little different here. I'm trying since this is such a long blade. We'll see if we can just. Kind of do some kind of a different kind of batoning here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So um, definitely it'll do that. Now, obviously this is not a carving knife; it is a machete. But uh, I know a lot of people kind of carry machetes as their one tool option. So it'd be worth at least seeing what we can do with this thing as far as making some curls or something with it. You know. This is a factory edge. I've done nothing to it. Okay, so I just happen to have a great big old ferro rod here. Let's just see what we can do with that. Oh, almost. Don't really have these things quite fine enough. So let's try something fat wood. Let's just try that. Cause you know I love me some fat wood anyway. So what I like to do usually is just go ahead and do a scrape a little fat wood on there. That's probably gonna be enough. Because once we, all we got to do is get a little flame going. The rest of it will go. So let's just see what happens now. <clears throat> Come on now. It's a little harder to control because it's so heavy. It wants to, the momentum wants to make it keep going. So let me just scrape a little more on here. Now let's see if we can get something going on with the ferro rod. Never had this much trouble with a ferro rod before. Now I've used this ferro rod plenty of time. Let's try it right here. Use this little part right here next to the blade because it seems to be the sharpest. Oh yeah, that's going to do it. Why it's not lighting. Oh yeah, finally looks like we might have achieved some ignition here. Okay. <laughs> okay, with well, the sun shining brightly on one side of my face, since it is a machete. Thought maybe we'd just do a little machete stuff instead of just wood stuff. It's got some, I think this is privet here, but it's kind of greening up for the springtime, so I thought we'd just see how, we'll do a little chopping on that and see what happens machete style. So hopefully you can see see that. 
Here's me. Let's, let's try this piece right here. See it? <laughs> Pretty good. So I think the rounded profile here really helps it to, to slice across smaller stuff too. So um, pretty stiff. Um, all in all, I say pretty cool blade. Okay, well that was some of the, I guess we'll call that the real world knife kind of stuff testing. And I got to say, um, I'm pretty impressed with the performance of this blade so far. Um, I think from an all around standpoint, obviously it is, is big. They call this a machete. I think it's a, a medium medium to small size machete, but it, it's a, a really big blade. I'm gonna call this one an all around because it did a really good job of chopping. That sweet spot seems to be about right in there. Just the, the angle and the mass and everything else did really good on that. Um, it, it's gonna baton small stuff. I mean, it's not gonna, look, the bottom line about batoning is I don't think anybody seriously recommends it for splitting firewood on a regular basis, right? But if you need to get into the, some small into some smaller wood or get into the center of some wood it's definitely a useful technique to uh to be able to do and this is a being a full tang knife full tang machete this is and this is, has enough seems to have enough heft and stiffness to do it and the grind on this thing is, is kind of like a scandy grind it's really very very useful um for chopping for carving it did a surprisingly great job on some pretty fine carving it's, it's not going to be as easy to use and manipulate as a small knife but if you choke up on it to about right here it is pretty well balanced and if you use this part here for the carving you can do some pretty fine work with it the only thing is like sometimes if you're, if you're doing some of the stuff it's, it's gonna you're gonna be fighting that momentum so it's gonna give you a little more fatigue in your hand and your wrist but for general stuff um, all around work it seemed to do pretty well and then very good for actual machete stuff on some on, you know stuff up to a quarter inch in diameter and smaller um, just I think the, this, the the curve and the sweep of the blade here just really gives it a, a good opportunity to slice through that small stuff too so and then the uh, kind of the knob on the end of the handle lets you really get a good grip on it so all that rambling to say um, as far as the knife stuff and general machete stuff and general camp blade stuff this thing seems to do a really good job and I think it, it's not going to replace an axe, but um, in, in a lot of tasks, this could do the same thing as a small hatchet So, and as a large knife. So it, it kind of gives you a good all-around compromise if you, if you want to carry a, you know, a, just kind of a one blade. So all that's great, but as you know, here at Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters, we maintain a state-of-the-art, cutting-edge testing facility and one of the uh one of the testing apparatus and stations that we always like to put all fixed blade um knives and machetes and whatnot through is the balance orientation and rotation device right back there uh, where we check the balance of all the fixed blade knives so um we've not calibrated this one yet calibration is a very important part of the testing you have to make sure you have the distance right to the device to the balance orientation and rotation device but we're going to wing this one um We'll do the on calibration on screen, see how it goes. So let's get to it. Okay, initial calibration. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna call this one balance. I gotta say, once the calibration distance was adjusted properly, man, this was absolutely, this is just a lot of fun to balance test. Um, and something, I don't know if you can hear this, but check this out, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know what that's tuned to, but it's tuned to something pretty cool. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Once again, this is the Condor Big Leaf Machete uh, designed by Matt Graham. I gotta say, for an all-around tool, like every one of Matt's not designs that I've tested, it just, I like it, I like the way it looks, I like the way it performs, and it just does a really good job. And it was surprisingly versatile to be such a big, really unusual shaped blade. Um, I think Matt did a good job on this one, they got this one right. So once again, thanks to Joe Flowers and the folks at Condor Knives for sending me this one so I could test it and show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. There's another one right there. And if you're not subscribed, please click right down there in the corner, click that little subscribe button and that little notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I really appreciate your support. 
once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.